ice might be good for keeping food fresh, generally speaking, ice and the human body don't mix. Which is perhaps not surprising when you consider over 65% of the human body is made out of water. So in general, if you want to live a long life and keep all your fingers and toes, try not to get too cold. Just ask anybody who's ever had frostbite. However, under controlled conditions, there are certain situations where ice can prove very beneficial. In fact, doctors have been prescribing it for years to help reduce swelling and help speed up the healing process for traumatised body parts. And now there's a growing belief among sports professionals that ice can speed up the recovery of the entire body. So after a punishing training session, many of them are now taking ice baths. Does it really work? Let's find out. In this stainless steel bath, the water, at its coldest, will be just 5 degrees Celsius. And to make sure your body doesn't warm it up, cold refrigerated air is blasted through, just for a little extra bite. This might appear to be some kind of medieval masochism, but there is method behind the madness. The idea is the iced water cools your body and this restricts the blood flow to your traumatised limbs. I'm recovering quick. I can no longer feel my arms. Once you get out and warm up, fresh blood floods into these areas, providing oxygen to the inflamed muscles, leaving you refreshed and ready for the next gruelling session. That was incredible. I feel really light. I mean, it, it's indescribable, actually. Uh, so I won't try and describe it. I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. I just feel great. <laughs>